Rue! 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 What's up, Rodney? Okay, I need your help. Okay. I was showing my friends my cool math skills. <laughs> then I was like, okay, guys, test me. They said, what's two times three? I said, six. They said, what's three times two? I said, uh... And then, like. and then, they said, what's five times six? I said, 30. They said, what's six times five? I said, uh, 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 uh. Robbie, I, I don't know. That sounds like the commutative property. The cobble bobble? Ugh, the commutative property. What's that? Say it with me. Commutative property. The commutative property is when you switch the order of the numbers in an equation and get the same answer. Uh. Get it? Kind of. Well, check this out. Picture a beautiful gumball machine. Oh my goodness. I love gumballs so much. One time I, oh, I grabbed a gumball and swallowed the whole thing by accident. Rodney. Sorry. Now, let's say you have three gumballs. Yes. And we'll multiply those three gumballs by two. So we'll have two groups of three gumballs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wow. Now let's switch the order of the factors. Let's start with two gumballs. And multiply that by three to make three groups of two gumballs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no matter which order the numbers are in, you still get the same product. Okay, now it's time to test your cool math skills. Shout out the answer if you know, okay? What's two times four? Eight. Nice. Now what's four times two? Eight gumballs! Great! Now what's three times five? Fifteen. That's right! Now what's five times three? Fifteen gumballs! That's right! Yeah! Nice job! As soon as you started talking about gumballs, then I got it. <sighs> Brother. I like the gumballs part. <laughs>